What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to your daily Bitcoin update. We're back again with it. Um, after some time, uh, excuse me, I have a, a little one. After yesterday, I didn't post because I was uh, a little bit sick. I still kind of am, um, but I did want to make this video. I think it's um, I think it's important to keep making videos and, and I like to do it as well. So we're back again. Uh, with the Bitcoin daily update after this, I also post a daily update on Ethereum. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that out too. Uh, for Bitcoin though, not a lot has happened. Um, we're still kind of like, I, I expected last analysis, I ex oh, excuse me. I expected us to drop down a little bit more, uh, which we haven't done. Here you can see that we found support at that 100 EMA. And I initially expected us to drop down towards this level here around 22 and 22,000. 300 uh, which is a level we haven't touched yet now we are making some bearish moves and I, and I do expect that we'll drop down a little bit lower uh, but then again what i also still expect at this point of time i mean we still have the strong support at 22,500. that's very strong um so that might be enough to actually get us to our next price target at around 25,000, because i still believe that we can touch that area between 25,000 and 25,500. It more and more looks like that's going to be the final top, but I still think we're going to be able to reach that. And that's quite a hot take because it's, it's not necessarily looking great for Bitcoin right now. So we can either reach that off of 22,500, but I think it's a little bit more likely that we drop down a little bit lower towards uh, 22,000 round and 22,300. And that from there, maybe we consolidate a little bit more, but within the next few days, that will find enough bullish momentum to actually let us break above 24,000 and get up to that price target. Um, so that's at this point in time still what I'm expecting, um, w which is, I mean, it's, it's always hard to expect something like that when the, the, the more recent price action looks pretty bearish. I mean, we have to be honest with ourselves. Uh, these moves we've been making the last couple of days aren't necessarily great. And uh, volume, I believe, has also dropped down. I'm not 100% sure about that. But yeah, it's at 26 billion, which is a weekly low. And compared to the last month, it's also at, at towards the lower edges of what volume can be. So that's not great, but it's not, not the end of the world either. Uh, to be honest, this 22,500 level could also be a nice trade. There's a lot of strong FIPs there. There's a 200 EMA, um, but that's not really what we're covering in these videos. It's more of a, a more general analysis. Uh, so that's what I still expect for Bitcoin. Obviously, we have to leave some room for error. And that would be, I mean, if in any case we drop down below 22,000, it's over. All right. If we close down below 22,000, it, it simply means that there wasn't enough bullish momentum. And then this was probably the top here around 24,500 and we'll probably start dropping down uh, towards 19K again. Uh, so yeah, that's basically my analysis for now on Bitcoin, Bitcoin I think. I think I, I talked about everything I wanted to. I want to say a quick thank you to our sponsors at Fairdesk where you can get a big bonus USDT if you sign up right now through the link down in the description. Uh, so be sure to check that out. And if you need any help with getting the bonus, please contact me. Uh, and for now, I would like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in the next videos. Bye.